Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss one more exciting opportunity from Infosys Spring Board. As you can see, just now we got a mail just three hours back. So here, on the occasion of first anniversary celebration of Infosys Spring Board Pragati Path to Future program. So they are announcing another program called Infosys Spring Board I Accelerate Women's Hackathon. So this is your chance to showcase your uh, innovative ideas as well as the solutions in a platform designed to empower the women. We published several videos regarding Pragati Path to Future and so many students they got an opportunity, an uh, internship opportunity from Infosys. So I hope the same will be continued with this video also. As we can see, this is an exclusive opportunity or we can say simply unique arena where your skills and ideas are going to be center stage. And there are innovative themes, three themes we have here in this program. Health and wellness is the one theme and financial empowerment as well as the innovation for inclusion. That means what? From these three themes, you can choose any one of the theme based on your criteria and based on your feasibility. What we can do? We can create, we can celebrate, we can innovate as well as we can achieve. What we can create here? We need to develop a solutions that address the real world challenges based on these three themes and also be a part of community that celebrates creativity as well as empowers the woman. And we need to develop the solutions to the real world problems, what we addressed in the create stage and then the recognition as well as the boost your career prospects we can gain here. From these three themes, you have to select any one theme here and who can apply? Women who have completed 12th standard or equivalent and are perceiving or having the completed graduation and post graduation. That means what? After 12th class, any woman candidate they can apply. Either you are completed 12th standard or you are doing UG or PG or you are completed UG and PG, you are eligible to apply. The registration dates we can see here, February 7 and last data for registration is February 14. So we also discuss how to uh, submit an idea on these three themes. So when we open the official web page here, as you can see, Infosys Spring Board, I Accelerate Women's Hackathon, we can register here. Now, for before registration, we need to know basic things as well as the basic criteria to upload this particular idea. So when we come to the health and wellness theme one, personalized healthcare for women. So if you have any idea, innovative idea about the personalized healthcare for women, then you can go through this theme. So the problem statement they given is, women have diverse health needs that are often not accurately addressed by gen generic healthcare approaches. So whatever the generic healthcare approaches we have now, these health approaches, these healthcare approaches are not addressing the diverse health needs of women. So this is lack of personalization can lead to suboptimal health outcomes as well as the limited access to relevant services. So when we come to the challenge here, what we need to do to address this particular problem statement, we need to develop a data driven solution using hierarchical clustering as well as the Gaussian mixer models to segment women based on their health needs as well as the preferences aiming to create personalized healthcare recommendations. That means what you need to apply any if you have some idea about machine learning algorithm or if you have some idea about mathematical implementation, you can implement mathematically or simply by using machine learning or deep learning or CNN, any one of the concept you can use to achieve this particular goal. So the solution you are going to provide is that should be futuristic solution. That is, you have to use any advanced clustering algorithm to segment human by health needs as well as the preferences, enabling the personalized healthcare recommendation that enhance services access, improve outcomes as well as the evolving health trends throughout the machine learning. So you can use any clustering algorithm or you can use uh, you, you can perform the segmentation process on the health records that is you can take any x-ray or you can take mri or you can take any image or you can take any physical image by segmenting by performing segmentation as well as by applying the clustering algorithms you can achieve this particular problem statement they given this idea and you can use the same or you can use any other advanced techniques to achieve the same problem so when we come to theme 2 this is financial empowerment for women you need to develop the financial literacy app to provide the financial empowerment for the women so in this, the problem statement is we need to develop an app that enhances the financial empowerment among the women. So the app should provide educational resources, tools for budgeting, expense tracker, financial planning, SIP calculator, EMI calculator, investment portfolio tracker like this. These are the services your application has to be provided. That means what? You should provide some financial awareness among the people, among the women people, how to save and how to track the expenses and what are the various options to save as well as what are the various options to improve the budgetary constraints in that particular family. The challenge is create an engaging user interface, integrate interactive learning modules as well as ensure data privacy as well as the security. So once we design this application, we need to ensure that we need to have some uh, friendly user interface, 
as well as interactive learning modules. So in that same app, we are going to integrate the inter interactive learning modules as well as we need to provide some kind of privacy as well as security. So the solution for that, what we need to use here, we need to use any AI model for investment analysis, predictive analysis, as well as investment forecasting. So which includes the learning experience to make financial education engaging. So we need to design an application based on AI so that that AI application will provide a financial literacy for the woman. When we come to the theme three, innovation for inclusion, accessible video player for deaf. So by seeing this uh, title, you can understand what you are going to do. So here, most video content uh, is not accessible for the deaf community. So even with the closed captions, it is not fully understandable. For that, you need to design a browser based extension that pop up the window as well as the place the content of a browser embedded video in sign language. So this is a solution you are going to provide. So you have to make almost any web or mobile based player with video content accessible for the deaf community. That is you are going to uh, design a plugin for any web browser so that with the help of that plugin, the deaf people can easily understand or easily can uh, go through the content what they have in the web. So when we come to the timeline here, the registration starts from tomorrow, February 7, 2025, ends on February 14th and the submission start date is February 20. That means you have to register uh, on or before February 14th. Then you have to start submission of your idea from February 22, March 6th. Then the evaluation start from March 6th to March 18th and the winner's announcement date is March 2021, 21, 2025. So they are going to announce the winners and runners on March 21, 2025. So as you can see here, the last date for registration is 14 and the last date for submission of idea is March 6th. And make sure instead of waiting till the end, you may apply as early as possible. So that when the more number of people are applying for this, they may close the registration just prior to this date also. So make sure apply on or before the deadline. And when we come to the submission, the document has to be submitted in the form of PPT or PDF format only. The maximum size is 25 MB. So we should create a PPT or we should create a PDF document which size is less than 25 MB. For submitting the idea, if you are including the images, it is better to create a PDF. And if you are having only text, you can use either PPT or PDF, but the size should be less than 25 MB. So when you are naming the document, once you are saving the document, you need to follow this particular naming convention. What is that? Theme name, project title, full name dot PDF, for example. As we have three uh, themes here, whether you are creating health and wellness or theme to uh, based on the theme what you have you have to specify the theme of the name here theme name underscore project title what is your project title underscore and then full name like this you have to uh, uh, you have to save the file name in this format then uh, so you need to submit whatever the file name you saved in this format that file name has to be submitted on or before march 6th and if you submit later after march 6th then this application is go not going to be considered so once you register, you're going to get the link to your mail link, which is provided in that mail with that link only you're going to submit your idea. So if you have any query, you can go through this frequently asked questions here. You can go through if you have any queries. So what is the Accelerate Women Hackathon? The Infosys Springboard Hackathon is designed to empower human by providing a platform to develop innovative solutions as well as the real world problems, which is working on three themes here, health and wellness, financial empowerment, as well as the innovation, as well as the inclusion. Who can participate? Any candidate, those who completed 12th grade or those who can, the candidate, those who are doing UG or PG also, or those who completed UG, PG also, they can eligible. How do I register? On or before 14th February, you, can, you have to register here. And what are the key dates? They are the important questions you have, you can go through. So if you are interested, simply click on register here so that this particular uh, page is going to be opened here. Read this uh, hackathon information, then enter your uh, official mail ID which is registered in Infosys Springboard, then your name, gender, definitely it is female only, then what are educational qualifications. If you completed 12th, click on 12th year and if you are pursuing graduation also, you have to write 12th only because you are not graduated yet. And if you have postgraduate or master's degree you are doing, then you have to click on graduate or if you completed PG, then you can click on PG or if you are doing doctorate, then if you completed doctorate, click on doctorate here. Current occupation. Either you are a student or employee, entrepreneur, a retired homemaker and seek, seeking employment. Anyone can apply here. Then, then select the theme on which theme you are going to apply. That's all. Your registration process is going to be completed. And as we discussed here, as we discussed here, the honor before in between March 6th as well as the March 18th, honor before 18th March, you are going to get 
the confirmation mailed from the Infosys, whether you selected or not. Ideas regarding theme one. So as we know, there are uh, so many people, uh, the humans suffering with a lot of health problems, especially working women as well as the homemates. So you can consider any one of the health condition like mental health or physical health, like cancer or any type of cancer, lung cancer and breast cancer like this. You can take any one idea and so that uh, you can prepare a healthcare application for that woman. Theme two, you can consider smart budgeting app so that the app can help the woman to educate in terms of uh, the financial literacy. And also in theme three, it is a general category innovation as well as inclusion. For the deaf people, you need to create a video player. So if you have any queries in this or if you want some ideas about uh, any one of these themes, simply comment on me so that I will try to reply. There is one more exciting opportunity from Google. They are also conducting a hackathon here from Google here. This is a kind of hackathon, Google hackathon. And uh, the batch years are 26, 27, 28, 29 past door students, they can apply. Either you are from BE, BTech, MEA, MTech or integrated dual degree also you can apply. And also there is a one more uh, opportunity for engineering scholars here, Robot Basketball in association with Doodrashan as well as STPI. And this is Microsoft Careers, those who are interested they can apply. So like this, like this we are posting at least one opportunity on every day. So that if you are interested you can join this channel to get this kind of opportunity. That's all for now. If you have any queries, simply comment on me so that I will try to reply. So and one humble request from my side is share as much as possible to all your friends as well as relatives as this is eligible for every woman. So I hope this video will help you. Thank you. All the best.